Hello, church family. It is the afternoon of Wednesday, July 31st, and I have some great news for you today. Barring any major surprises, we are going to be in our worship center on our campus for worship this Sunday morning. We're going to have one service. It's going to be at 11 o'clock. We're not going to have child care yet. We're not going to have Sunday school yet, but we're going to come together for worship in our worship center. And I hope that you'll be here to worship with us. Now, I wanna talk with you a little bit about parking and how you're going to get into the worship center this week. This entrance behind me that is nearest our fountain is going to be your primary way of entering into the worship center building this week. If you park in the Horner Family Center garage, you'll also have the opportunity to enter that building through that sky bridge entrance. Now, you are able to park in all of our garages this week. In the Horner Family Center garage, we're reserving some spaces for first time guests and we're encouraging families with small children to park in that garage. You'll be able to park in the St. Paul garage next to the Horner Family Center garage as well. You can walk right across the street and enter into the worship center building. The Irve garage is available for your use. You'll enter into the Irve garage off of Federal Street. The Spurgeon Harris garage will also be available, but you'll enter into that garage off of Patterson. Of course, the Ross garage is available to you as well. Now, you're not going to be able to walk through the center of our campus like you normally would through that plaza area. So to make things as easy as possible for you, we're going to have golf carts available on campus and they're gonna be circling the campus. They will pick you up at whatever garage uh, that you park in and they'll bring you directly to this entrance. For those of you who have mobility issues, we will have our valet back operational this week here on St. Paul. So we're doing all we can to make it as easy as possible for you to return to worship on our campus this Sunday morning. Remember, our pastor, Dr. Jeffress, will be here to preside over the service. We'll have a special pulpit guest, R.T. Kendall, who's leading us, and our choir and orchestra is going to be back in action. In fact, they are rehearsing in the worship center this very evening. So things are coming along and it's gonna be great for us to get back together. As you know, we've been working feverishly for almost two weeks now so that we're able to do this. And you might be asking, what's the big deal? Why are we working so hard uh, so that we can come back to worship there on our campus despite all the construction that's still going on? Well, I wanted to remind you why we're doing this. And you find the reason in Hebrews 10, verses 24 and 25. The writer of Hebrews said, and let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the day drawing near. We were made to worship the Lord and it's God's plan that we do that together as the church, the body of Christ. So I hope that you'll be here this Sunday as we encourage each other and stir each other up with love and good deeds. Thank you, church. We're praying for you and we can't wait to see you on Sunday.